What is the most inappropriate thing a teacher has ever done in class? Well not really a teacher, but my principal. My high school had a strict policy on cell phones. Every morning we were expected to turn them into a basket in the office, and we couldn't get them back until after the, the afternoon announcements. During the last week of my junior year, I had a religion final. I usually kept my phone hidden in my locker, but that day I had totally forgotten about the exam and had left it in my bag. We were almost out of time for the exam, about 15 minutes left, when someone's phone went off. Everyone instantly looked at me since they knew I liked to keep my phone on me, but it wasn't. I usually turned it off to save battery. The classroom was so quiet, you could hear a pin drop. Miss C slowly stood up, looked around the room and then walked into the hallway to call the office. I took this moment to rummage through my bag, find my phone powered off, and hide it in a thick folder. When she came back, she told everyone to stay behind so we could sort it out. The last 15 minutes of that final went by agonizingly slow. My heart was beating out of my chest as I tried to finish the short essay section. It wasn't my phone, so whose could it have been? What if my phone made some kind of noise because it had died? What if she finds my phone and I fail? I had never gotten a detention or bad grade because I was that student. All the teachers liked me. When afternoon announcements came on over the loudspeaker, I almost slouched with relief, but then the principal's voice came on and started speaking to us. Students in room L1, stay in your seats until further notice. A few minutes later, the principal's secretary came to our door. She made all of us line up single file. None of us were allowed to leave the room until she went through each and every one of our bags. She then instructed us to walk to my teacher and turn our pockets inside out to prove we didn't have any electronics. Mind you, this is only a religion final that the teacher made up, not even a state exam or anything that would really stop us from passing. There was another kid in my class named Nick who also carried his phone around a lot, among other forbidden things. He was a well-known by all the teachers in the school and also the local law enforcement. So me and Nick stood waiting at the back of the line. Was it you? My phone is turned off. Nick I swear to God if I get penalized for this. He shrugged and jumped in line ahead of me. We stood there for at least 40 minutes waiting for each person ahead of us to get cleared. When it was Nick's turn, I instantly knew it was him. He slowly took everything out of his bag as if trying to delay the inevitable. His bag ended up passing, but then the teacher checked his desk. Lo and behold, there was his cracked Samsung with a missed call. The teacher and secretary both walked him to the office and I was free to go home. But this isn't the end of it. As I walked upstairs to the main entrance, there was a group of boys standing outside the principal's door talking to Ms. C. Shit. I tried to speed walk to the door but not even 15 feet outside I hear my name. Sadie, come here. I crossed my fingers and hoped she would just tell me to not bring my phone to class and to not hang out with Nick, but she pulled me into a classroom. She then proceeded to go through each and every one of my folders until she found my phone. I was mortified, she was invading my privacy. What gives her the right to be able to just go through my stuff like that? My anxiety got the best of me and I finally burst into tears. I'm sorry, I forgot the final was today. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She told me she was giving my phone to the principal and I wouldn't get it back until further notice. Later that afternoon, my mom got a phone call from the principal. I don't know what exactly was exchanged, but I know my mom was on my side. She reassured me that my teacher said she wouldn't penalize my grade but the principal wanted to keep my phone for the whole summer. I was livid, to say the least. My dad was also very angry that my teacher, the secretary and the principal had violated my privacy, and he agreed I couldn't go a whole summer without my phone. I had a job, friends, and most importantly I had bought and maintained the phone with my own money. My dad told my mom to go to the office the next day and demand that they give me back my personal property. The one time I was thankful that my dad had a temper.